This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Darren Johnson with me and Herb Cloche. You are both with Buskerfest this year. Darren Johnson, you're the executive director of Old Town Kempfel BIA. And Herb, you're the programming, you're on the programming committee to get all the events and the attractions here too. So we're going to talk about Buskerfest. It's the second one. Is that right, Darren? Yes, that's right, Kathy. We uh, obviously didn't uh, didn't suffer enough through the first one. We decided to have a second crack at it. And I mean, I almost forgot that last year. Let's talk about what happened at last year's <laughs> event. <laughs> yes, yeah, it was quite a it was quite a sort of for a first year event. You know, you've got all the excitement and everything that's going on around a first first time event, and then when you throw a uh, I think it was called a Derrico, like basically a small hurricane into the mix and uh yeah it uh it it sent everybody running for cover and you know quick packing up of tents and it was it was quite a it was quite a flurry of activity there for about 15 minutes so and up to we're that really point really hoping we don't do that this year we we're not going to have to reboot that this year uh, and up to that point you were a very successful event the streets were were filled with people that came out to see the events and the vendors and and then all of a sudden high winds <laughs> and and it was actually very surprising in a sense that there were still people coming in like even when the wind was picking up there were still people arriving on site wow so wow. clearly people uh didn't hear what was going on but yeah real diehards for a busker fest. This year. <laughs> yes exactly so let's exactly. talk about busker fest uh darren talk about what what it is okay it's a free community event based in downtown Kempville, uh, organized by a group of uh, foolish volunteers. And the original idea was built around how we're so fortunate in our community to have so many talented people that we decided sort of as a small group, as a, <clears throat> how do we showcase these people and what they can do? Everything from artists to musicians and anybody who can do something extraordinary you know how do we show the world what they have to offer and then we decided to add some you know some professional performers in there to sort of amp up that level of fun so we're really uh we're really excited to do the second one and of course we've got food trucks some really cool food trucks coming in so we're really excited about uh, about year two all right, so maybe Herb, I'm going to put it over to you now too. You're the uh, chair of the programming committee. You get to get the, the the talent in here too. Where do you find these people, and what kind of talent do you have coming in? Uh, it's a great question, and uh, we've been fortunate enough to to work with some great uh, people to help us in that regard. Because uh, putting on a busker fest is not is not something you do every day, so it's a learning process for us as well. And what we uh, what we ended up doing was. Um, teaming up with the orbital talent that organizes some of the international busker fests in ottawa and uh, the uh, president there brian has been kind enough to come out and sit with our meetings and help us um you know as as a group select what we think uh, our area would would uh, really like to see as far as professional buskers so we have um, i think we have uh, this year nine professional buskers coming and we're going to, uh, you know, put them throughout the, the main downtown core like we did last year, similar to last year. Uh, this year, we've got um, a little bit a higher, um, I would say, quality uh, buskers in two or three areas. So we're um, we're really happy and excited to see those those people come. So looking forward to that. And uh, then we just basically work with uh, with Orbital to uh, make sure that uh, you know everything is 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 organized and scheduled so that everybody gets a chance to see it and there's not a, a big big waiting lineups for everybody we'll we'll have it uh organized in such a way that you know everyone will be able to see the acts they like at a timely fashion and have space and room hopefully to do that and and have a lot of fun and and then we'll uh we'll uh we'll support that with some local uh programming as well uh, local buskers and local entertainment that we will offset uh, through the downtown core to make to make uh, the event that much more fuller, if that's a word, and uh, and make it uh, give some of our local uh, talent a chance to integrate with with such a you know a large volume of people 
um, you know, similar to what we had last year. I, I think, you know, Darren probably has, uh, you know, more numbers as far as what we might expect this year. But I, I'm pretty sure that we'll see uh, larger numbers than we did last year because it was it was really so successful. So that's that's some of the things. We're also going to have a community showcase area where we want to have uh, some of the local uh, organizations that do different events, whether that be, um, um, you know, I know we're going to have some, um, you know, tap dancers and we're going to have uh, some other uh, community events uh, happening at the showcase. We're also going to have um, uh, a Kempel's Got Talent. So we're going to try to make, uh, you know, something similar to that uh, where we're going to have whoever wants to come and show us their talents, we'll, we'll put them up on stage and we'll, we'll uh, video them and we'll get them you know, uh, some uh, some exposure and maybe give them a, a mock kind of judging and uh, have a little fun with it and make uh, make some laughs for the community showcase area. I really like that that element of it. The Kempfels got talent. Like we're having people come in uh, from out of town to to entertain us, but we do have some entertaining people in the North Grenville area as well too. So that stage <laughs> mm -hmm. alone is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to see young and old come out and uh, yep. probably surprise a lot of us. <laughs> Yes. We're hoping. We're hoping. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I, you know, when I always think of, of a busker, the buskers, you, you think of like the street performers, the acrobatics on them and everything too. And it, I mean, it's funny and it's breathtaking and it's all in one. It's great entertainment. Yeah, it is great. Sure. It is great entertainment. And we're going to also um, have a kid's zone like we had last year. I, I, I just want to mention that as well. Uh, we're going to have, um, you know, Bouncy Castle. We've got some support from some of the local schools here to do some crafts. We're definitely going to uh, have, you know, a kid zone that should be fun with some games, uh, some some yard games, and we're going to support that with some uh, food vendors in that area specific to families. And I think it'll be a really nice, fun little family zone area too. So uh, uh, we're we're, wel we're trying to we're trying to um, you know make sure everyone feels welcome and everybody, uh, regardless of your age, has something to do. We um, we have uh, you know. Last year, we brought in the Garrison 501, the Star Wars people that walk down the streets. And this year, we're expanding on that uh, to have not only the good side, but the evil side. So <laughs> we, we're trying to have some fun with that, too. Um, yeah, we're going to have some elements that we didn't have last year. Every year, it's it's really um, festival organizers try to make it you know better each year. So we're no different. We're, we're going to try to make it... Um, uh, better this year and a lot more uh, interactive and, and give people a lot of uh, different areas to, to stay engaged and have fun with their families all day. And you're actually closing off Prescott Street, right, Darren? That's right, Kathy. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's such a beautiful street, right? Um, yeah. With the heritage buildings and all the businesses. Like it's, I must say, we do, we have an attractive downtown. We're very fortunate in that. So when you take the opportunity to close the street, you sort of really highlight and showcase the street itself and sort of the built heritage of downtown. So we're we're very fortunate in that sense to have sort of this massive, you know, like a showcase or stage area that we're not just showcasing um, the performers themselves, but we're also showcasing the buildings and the businesses and the downtown sort of creating a, this idea that downtown is a destination for everyone. Absolutely. Now, in terms of parking, too, <clears throat> you've got a shuttle going on? Yeah. Yep. We started this idea last year with uh, Alliance Transport. So what we do is we're encouraging people to park at the North Grenville Municipal Center in their huge parking lot there, and we'll have signage directing people there. So park there, and we're going to have a shuttle running back and forth all day long from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So picking people up, bringing them down to the downtown and then taking them back when they're finished. So yeah. we can't uh, we can't thank Chris enough for providing that service because there's just there isn't 6,000 parking spots in the downtown. So. <laughs> <laughs> They're great people to work with for sure, for sure. Yes. And, and yes. one thing about the Busker Fest too, it's, it's interactive. Like with, mm -hmm. with children, with adults and everybody, that most mm -hmm. of the buskers, when, they, when they're performing, they're getting uh, the people that are watching involved as well. You're right. I, I know that was something that Herb focused on <clears throat> specifically when it comes to the performers is, is making sure that the performers 
have that connection or create that connection with people. So it's not just a, a case of, you know, there's a performer, you know, uh, 300 meters away on a stage that you can't access is no, the performer is right in front of you and probably might even talk to you, might involve you in the act. So yes, the, that interactive portion is, is so important for our buskers and people love it. Let's yes. face it. Yes, they do. Yeah. They do for sure. So again, it's Saturday, May 20th from 10 till six and mm -hmm. it's on Prescott street and it's called right. busker fest. This year, we're going to pray for no rain and no hurricanes. <laughs> that's, <laughs> we're that's going to right. include and everything that. else. And everything, everything else. We just, else. Yes. Sunny skies, blue skies. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's what we right. want. That's what we want. Yeah. Is there anything else going on before we wrap up on Buskerfest that we may have so not I, touched on? If I could, I just want to touch on a, a quick story here. And it's about one of the professional performers we're going to have this year. His name is Sky, Sky Filion. So... The story, what I think is a feel-good story about this, is in our first year, we had our Kempel's Got Talent contest, and Sky entered that contest and won. So he, like, he, very talented young man, very passionate, just, just loves it. So he was able to uh, work with Orbital Talent and sort of refine his craft and improve his act. So now he's coming back this year as a professional performer. Wow. Yeah. So we we are just thrilled that this developed in this way. We we kind of feel like we're a small part of uh, of what's happened in this situation, but we we just love that, right? The from him getting that opportunity and being brave and stepping up and bringing yeah. his passion to entertain people and then Lo and behold, he ends up coming back the following year as a professional. So we're looking forward to see what Sky can do. Wow. Well, who knows who's going to be in Kempfel's Got Talent uh, on May 20th this year, and we'll see them in a couple of years come back as a professional. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yes. Well, thank you very much for holding Busker Fest. Uh, again, it's Saturday, May 20th from 10 to 6 along Prescott Street, lots going on, interactive fun, and it's going to be fun, and it's going to be entertaining, there's going to be food, everything you need to do to have a good day. Sunny skies. <laughs> We're hoping for sunny skies. So yes. thank you for joining us. Darren Johnson and Herb Cloche, thank you very much for joining us, and thank you for organizing another Busker Fest in Kempfel. Thank Thanks you. for having us, Kathy. Thanks, Kathy.